The game Seven Wonders Duel may have three different ways for its two different players to win, but there's a million different ways to upgrade this game's components. Even though I was only able to come up with like a half dozen different ideas, we'll still be taking a look at each of those ideas as we discuss ways to protect, organize, and trick out Seven Wonders Duel today on the Component Proponent. <laughs> From the mundane, the component proponent, yeah! Hello and welcome back to another installment of The Component Proponent, the series about upgrades and enhancements for board games in order to increase our immersion in the gaming experience and, well, just have a little bit of fun. Now, as always, several of the upgrades featured in this episode were provided by sponsor and friend of the show, TopShelfGamer.com, who specializes in board game components and upgrades. Now, links to Top Shelf Gamer and the components that they have provided for this particular episode will be included in this video's description. Today, we'll be taking a look at the game Seven Wonders Duel, which is specifically designed for two players who will draft cards, some of which will be face down and some face up, arranged in a different pattern over the course of three different ages. And as the game progresses, players will acquire resources which are used to improve their civilization. Bigger and better civic improvements are also available to each player in the form of four wonders which each player will have available and which they can construct to obtain special abilities. But only seven wonders in total can be built during the game, so one player is going to end up short. The game can be won in three different ways. Instantly, by advancing the military marker all the way towards your opponent's capital. Instantly, by acquiring a set of six different scientific symbols. Or, by having the most points when the game comes to its natural conclusion. One of the fundamental components of Seven Wonders Duel is its cards. There's 66 cards representing the three different ages of the game, and there's 12 wonder cards representing the astounding technological advances that your culture can achieve, like the pyramids, the great lighthouse, or the hanging gardens. And another man-made marvel of technology that we can add to this game is card sleeves. Card Sleeves, the protective ozone layer of board games. Note, Chaz Marler does not understand how the ozone layer works. Seven Wonders Duel will require two different sizes of card sleeves. 65 by 100 millimeter card sleeves will fit the Wonder cards, and 45 by 68 millimeter card sleeves will accommodate the Age cards. But we're not off the hook yet, because since ancient civilizations apparently hadn't developed the concept of industry standards yet, you're going to need another third size of card sleeves if you have the game's Pantheon expansion. Now, the god cards from the expansion are a card size known as French tarot cards. For those, 63 by 115 millimeter card sleeves should protect those cards for years to come. Un unless, of course, you throw them into a lake, because they, they won't protect it from something like that. But uh, that's easy enough to mitigate. Just, just, just don't do that. And now that we've protected the game's cards, let's take a look at how to store them safely and securely. And, and I guess the, the very first tip about that would be just not to throw them into a lake. But, but even more advice would be to use an insert. So let's take a look at two different inserts designed not only to store Seven Wonders Duel, but to assist in its setup and gameplay. The first insert that we'll be taking a look at is the Broken Tokens Wooden Dueling Gods insert. This organizer provides space to store all of the game's components from both the base game and the Pantheon expansion securely, including trays for coins, tokens, and the Conflict and Minerva tokens. It also fits sleeved cards, features removable dividers, and notched walls to hold the game boards. This guy also has removable trays, which not only give the coins a cozy place to reside, but can also be used while playing. And secondly, there's this foam core insert by Insert Here, which accommodates both the base game and the Pantheon expansion as well. It's composed of four trays and is also designed to hold the sleeved cards. One of its removable trays can be used as a portable storage for the coins, while another removable tray holds all of the age cards, each in a separate little pile. And yet another removable tray holds all the components from the Pantheon expansion. You can't go wrong selecting either one of these inserts, but do be aware that neither one includes a USB charging port. 
Now, during my research, I noticed that both inserts include more than enough room to store the cards from the base game and its expansion. And that's good, because it turns out that several more print and play cards and bonus goodies are available at sevenwondersduel.com. Now, on that website, you're going to find a library of PDFs, including downloadable copies of the game's rules for both the base game and the expansion, a help sheet, help cards for both the base game and the expansion, and additional score pads, wallpapers, and a couple bonus wonders featuring the Statue of Liberty and the Messe. Messe... Messe... Oh, no! And all of those items on that website are free, so they're not going to cost you any coin to download. And speaking of coins, let's turn our attention next to upgrading the game's paper coins. Now, the paper coins included in Seven Wonders Duel are designed pretty well, to be honest. They're die cut and illustrated to really look like ancient currency. Now, what would be really cool is if there were metal versions that were based on these specific coin designs. Well, now you can! Because this metal coin bundle was made specifically for Seven Wonders and Seven Wonders Duel. These minted coins, crafted from zinc and nickel, feature high-relief 3D designs that match the illustrations from the game's original paper coins. Now, this set that I got is available in either packs of 31 or 80 coins in denominations that match the game, including 30mm copper coins, 20mm silver coins, and 25mm gold coins. But if you are one of those people that is looking for even more variety in their coinage, well, there's also various ancient-looking minted coins available from the company Campaign Coins. Their gaming coins are just fantastic and definitely worth a look. But, but, but there's more, because if you are looking to get the biggest bang for your buck, well, you may want to try purchasing coins for your collection in bulk. To obtain a large number of metal coins fast, several viewers have suggested buying sets of foreign coins off of eBay. Now, some auctions out there include a specific number of pre-selected coins, while other auctions just sell foreign coins by the pound. And of course, in most of these packs, the coin selection is going to be random, and some of them even go out of their way to not include any duplicate coins, which may make integrating them into a tabletop game a, a little more difficult. And, of course, there's also my current favorite way of upgrading game coins, which is to invest in a collection of Sacagawea gold dollar coins. Not only do they have a very satisfying weight and clink, ah, but they're also money. So, if you ever need to, you can simply just liquidate them and get 100% of your money back. So, in a way, you're actually making money by taking this approach. Please note, Chaz Marler does not understand how math works. Now, what would a game called Seven Wonders Duel be without wonders for the players to be dueling over? It would be nothing, because there'd be no wonders and there would be no dueling. And at that point, you might as well just throw your game in a lake. Unfortunately, the game does feature wonders to be constructed that are represented by cards that the players will build as the game goes on. And that's nice. But what if you want to just have a little more eye candy on the table to look at? Well, in that case, feast your peepers on these sets of plastic landmarks produced by Safari Limited, which I recently discovered at a Michael's Craft Store in the area. Now, by combining four of the different Safari Limited quote-unquote super tubes full of little figurines, you can amass a set of 41 different landmarks which can be used as proxies of the various wonders that the players construct during the game, from the pyramids, to the Circus Maximus, to the mausoleum. Now, the pieces that are included in the Safari Limited packs aren't going to be a perfect one-to-one -one match for all the wonders for the game. But they do add a little extra flair to the table, adding some more paintable plastic pieces to the playthrough presentation. And speaking of painted plastic pieces, I want to now give a shout out to the members of the board game community that have posted some of their custom upgrades on BoardGameGeek.com. The most popular community upgrade for Seven Wonders Duel is painting the shield marker for the military track. Now, this simple pigment upgrade is a noticeable enhancement to the game and inspires me to do the same. In fact, the only thing that's preventing me from painting my military marker is a complete lack of paints, and brushes, and painting ability. And the willingness to expend the slightest bit of effort to, to learn, learn how to paint. And those are nice. 
But the award for the cleverest custom component upgrade this time around has got to go to BGG user Gustavo, who improved the look of his various Seven Wonders dual tokens by filling in the sides of them with matching colored Sharpies. It's a simple little upgrade that adds a really nice touch to the tokens. For this, or for any game. So thank you, Gustavo, for sharing this clever, simple little custom upgrade idea that's probably going to work its way into lots of other games in my collection. So there you go. There are several storage and component upgrade ideas for Seven Wonders Duel. Now, whether you invest in these Seven Wonders Duel upgrades featured in this video or just make your own, I hope that these things have given you some ideas for customizing your copy of the game. And for more board game component upgrade videos, be sure to check out the complete component proponent playlist linked to in this card and in the video description below. And if there's a game that you think is worth talking about, well, tell me about it, either in the comments or at components at pairofdiceparadise.com. I welcome your suggestions and may even feature them in an upcoming episode. But until then, for more board game news, reviews, and commentary, be sure to subscribe, click that little notification bell icon, which is the thing I guess I gotta say now in videos, and remember that videos like this are made possible by viewers like you who've been financially supporting Pair of Dice Paradise's Pod Pledge fundraising campaign for 2018. Thanks to everyone who's been supporting the channel. It all helps and is greatly appreciated. But for now, take care, and until next time, I've been Chaz Marler, your component proponent. You may want to purchase coins for your collection in bulk and to obtain bulk and 25 millimeter gold coins and an airplane to fly over your head at strategic intervals. Strategic airplane. Please be quiet, strategic airplane.